here. Nope. He's trying to get out of this here. This is a First Amendment protected get activity. Out. Do not touch me. If you me. go, I'm going to arrest you. Arrest me. Get out of here. Me for what? I'm going to arrest you. Do you want to call for the scene and get this guy upset? Get out of here. I'm not interfering You're with gonna anything. You're going to get him I'm upset. Far away. You're going to get him upset. That's why I'm standing behind no, the pole. We don't need the camera here. Out of here. John Van Dyke here from New Jersey Exposed. Today is Tuesday, August 17, 2021. Time is 2.25 p.m. Jersey time. All right, well, we got another uh, end result of a Blue Zero Hero. It's a story came out a couple months ago in uh, Corona, Michigan. There was a gentleman that was out responded to a, uh, a possible suicide. A man was up on a utility tower threatening to jump off the tower and this man responded down to the location with his camera to document what was going on. He was approached by two state troopers and he agreed that he should move back a little ways and everything was good and then the local sheriff showed up and started throwing his weight around Telling the guy he's got to go. Telling the guy he doesn't care about his rights right now. And that's that. So, long story short, that sheriff ended up arresting that man. And fast forward a couple months later, we have the results of that arrest. This is reported on WLNS.com. And it's reported on August 10th, 2021. And it reads as follows. Oswaso man paid $95,000 in unlawful arrest suit. Seven months after the video of a former Corona police chief, Nick Cheros, arrested Matthew Rush of Oswaso went viral. Wash is receiving a $95,000 in a settlement for unlawful arrest. Now, I wonder how much the chief is paying out of his pocket for that. Anybody want to take a guess? It's probably the same guess I have. The, reset, the arrest resulted in firing a chai rose from the police force. According to an attorney representing Rosh in the case, Rosh is a citizen journalist who was responding to a police scanner message that a man was threatening suicide from the top of a transmission tower power wire thing oh here's the story right here too there it is right there I expected to get some attention but I didn't think it would blow up like this Rosh said police were called to help deal with a man threatening to jump from a tower Rosh also went to the scene now question I have if nobody went to that scene would that man still jump off the tower? I mean, because really, if you think about it, jumping off the tower, part of it is having an audience, isn't it? Goodbye, cruel world. Not to li make light of this man's problem, but imagine if nobody responded. Just say, go ahead, jump. He says he was live streaming the situation, make sure our police are following the law. Well, you know, the police don't like that because the police don't want to be held accountable for their actions. They want to be free to do as they please, wherever and wherever they, whenever they want. They forget that they work for us, but in their minds, they work for themselves. I zoomed in all the way on my camera and I could barely see the guy in the tower. Ross said it was a little speck. It wasn't about catching him. It was about the police response, he said. But imagine that guy jumped off, man. You'd have a hell of a video. In the video, you can hear two MSP troopers ask Rosh to move further back. He does. Soon after, Police Chief Chiros tells him to leave the scene. Rosh refuses and tells him his right to be there is protected on the First Amendment. But as we know, Blue Zero Heroes don't care. They don't care about your rights. The right, your rights work against them. That's why they don't care about it, and they're not going to respect it. I was not about to leave, Rosh said. I was there to protect the guy in the tower. Rosh tells Six News he spent hours behind bars and is thankful for the support he received. I was locked up for 22 hours in the county jail. They refused to press any charges on me. I was released that Saturday morning at around 10, 10.30 a.m. He said, 
Rosh, attorney, informed the city of Corona of plans to file a First and Fourth Amendment lawsuit in federal court. Following some negotiation, Rosh case was settled for $95,000. Now, what they don't mention in this is that the chief also resigned. And he had planned, he's not a spring chicken, the chief, he already had a lot of time in, and he had already had a retirement in the planning to begin with. So he retired early, and that's the end result of that. So this chief acted inappropriately, violated this man's rights, arrested this, unlawfully arrested this man, off, unlawfully robbed him of his freedom for 22 hours. He was released. And nothing happens to the chief. He's nothing happened. He just took his retirement a little bit earlier than what he was going to take. And what's the message that sends to bad cops? Well, if you screw up, nothing's going to happen. That's the message it sends. And then once again, the taxpayers are paying for the bad behavior of a bad cop. An amount of ninety-five thousand dollars. I say that that chief should pay the ninety-five thousand dollars. He should. 100% pay all of it. And I think he should have to spend a little time in jail too. Let him spend 95, uh, 22 hours in jail. That'd be a good thing too. But that's another lesson taught to some of these heroes out there. You know, the state police of Michigan, they respected the guy. I, I watched the video. They re he just was respected. They said, look, just move back a little way. The guy was more than happy. He says, you know what, I'll move back, no problem. As long as I can get my video, I'm good. And the state police were fine with it. That shows you that those two state troopers or whoever was there were knowledgeable and respectful. And then you get this country bloke shows up, sheriff, who thinks he can just intimidate. And I mean, in all reality, he probably has done it all his life and nobody has done anything about it because most people are afraid to stand up to the police. Most people are unsure of their rights and not competent. And when they speak to them, they're scared. And, they don't want to spend the night in jail. It's, it's, it's a nightmare, it's, threat. it's scary to them to have to stand up to a cop and then face whatever comes your way. But the end result is this man, Raj, stood up to this idiot cop, this chief, and he's the winner. But nothing happened to the cop. That, that's, the, that's the downside to the story. Nothing happened to that cop other than the fact that he retired. He should have been fired. In my opinion, I mean, what do you do? Suspend the chief? I don't know. I think he should have been fired. That's what I think. Or at minimum, paid $95,000 out and a public apology to that man with the video camera. Okay, so I'll put the, this the original story and then there's the outcome of the story, which is what I'm doing now. We'll put that link in the description. And there's some video of this gentleman, and uh, that'll follow right after me. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Till next time, people. News at 5. It just shows that, you know, we the people, if we speak loud enough, we can make change. That changed. The Corona police chief terminated over this confrontation with a self-proclaimed constitutional watchdog. The man live streamed police on Friday as they responded to a call for a man attempting to jump from a utility tower. Since then, thousands of people around the world have seen the video posted to his YouTube channel that includes Corona City Council, who voted to fire Chief Nick Chiros last night. All new our Ann Perrette here is from the man behind the camera who explains why he was there in the first place. Matthew Rosh says he showed up here to the Mitchell Field Park in Corona around noon Friday to record police responding to a mental health crisis. He's been doing this for some time now under the name Michigan Constitutional Crusader. Rosh has taken it upon himself to do what he calls First Amendment audits of police activity. Police are usually not the best people to deal with mental health issues. Okay. So I went out there specifically to film the police 
and make sure that his rights weren't being violated. A few minutes into Rosh's recording, you can see two Michigan State Police troopers come up and ask him to move back. He argues with them for a moment and then agrees to comply. I'm willing to compromise. Rosh says he moved back 477 feet from the situation. The recording continues for about 15 minutes and then Corona Police Chief Nick Chiros approaches. Hey you, I need to get out of here. Nope. This crime scene, get out of here. This is a First Amendment protected activity. Do not touch me. Did you go and arrest you? They argue for about five more minutes, Chiros repeatedly asking Rosh to leave, and then he does arrest him on charges of interfering and resisting and obstructing police. It's clear the now former chief is heated. He tells Rosh he's worried about the man attempting to take his own life. I give a f about your rights right now. Really? I'm not politically correct. So shove that up your ass. I could give a f less what you think. Rosh says this interaction happened after he believes the chief thought he turned off the recording. Proof, he says, area police agencies need body cameras. That was a stroke of luck right there. <laughs> Rosh spent 22 hours in the Shiawassee County Jail. He says he got out Saturday morning with no charges. Oh, I knew I did nothing wrong. And uh, all the support I was getting from everybody that watches these, these uh, videos, uh, I guess there was like 15,000 calls to the city uh, city offices there from people that were watching my live feed. That support continued through the weekend with a protest outside City Hall Saturday and Monday before the City Council meeting. Council voted unanimously that night to fire Chiros. There's a lot of good cops out there too. I have two uncles and a grandfather that retired from the Detroit Police Department. Okay. So I, I love good police but I won't stand for tyrants. Rosh wouldn't comment on if he's pursuing any legal action against Chiros. I did reach out to the former chief and he has not yet returned my call. Neither did the city manager or mayor. In Corona, I'm Ann Perrette, ABC 12 News. Because council fired Nick Chiros without cause, he will keep his pension and benefits. Chiros has been the chief of police since 2015. He joined the department in 2005 after 23 and a half years with the Genesee County Sheriff's Office. He did plan to retire in January. Corona City Council appointed Mark Schmitzer as the new interim police chief as they search for a full-time replacement. Schmitzer is currently the Gaines Township Police Chief, a job he says he will continue to do. Now I got another officer coming towards me. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, you, I need to get out of here. Nope. Get out of here. This is a First Amendment protected get activity. Do not touch me. Did you me. go or I'm arrest you? Get out of here. Me for what? I'm going to arrest you. Do you want to call me and get this guy upset? Get out of here. I'm not interfering You're with gonna anything. You're going to get him I'm upset. Far away. You're going to get him upset. That's why I'm standing behind no, the pole. We don't need the camera here. Out of here. What are you going to arrest me for? For interfering. How am I interfering standing this far back? Back. How am I obstructing? Back. I told you to leave. This the city no, property, this, I can tell you to leave. Yeah, it's public property. No, city, go, go. Public property. Get out of here, I'm going to arrest you. For what? I just told you. You want to get a lawsuit? I don't care what you do. You're getting out of here. No, I'm not. We're trying to negotiate something here, and I don't need you here. And that's why I'm up. standing so far back. Get out of here. You need to leave, I'm going to arrest you. Last time, I'm going to tell you. This is public property, sir. Last time I'm going to tell you. What's your name and badge number? I'm the chief of police. And what's your name? Nick. Nick what? Churros. Do you not know the Constitution that you swore to uphold? Get out of here. Do you not know the Constitution that I you swore to uphold? I last time. I am media. You mean, no, you're not media. Yes, I am, sir. Okay, I guess I'm getting arrested, guys. What department are you with? Huh? Police. Corona police. Everybody start bombing the Corona police with phone calls because he's illegally arresting me right now. Give me your other hand. Don't break my camera equipment, sir. This is an unlawful arrest. Come on. Oh, now you want to take me closer? 
Wait, can you bring your car over here? I talked to the state troopers and they said I was fine where I was at. No, you're not. Um, no, I talked to the other guy. You got a negotiator coming. Bullshit. I turn this off so you don't waste your battery. You don't need to touch it. You turn it off, that's also a violation of my rights. <clears throat> You're just stacking it up for yourself, aren't you? What's your name? Don't go through my pockets. You got no right to you. Shut it's the hell up. unlawful arrest, and you're unlawfully going through my pockets. <clears throat> Garrison Road. Oh, and then you throw my equipment on the ground? Nice. <clears throat> you're the only one here causing the scene, not me. What else you got on? Nothing. I got a battery pack, some cigarettes, some lighter. You just live on Garrison Road? No comment. So now you're going to be a real asshole, huh? Well, you're being one, so why not? No. Yeah. I'm you're not. violating my rights. No, sir. listen. I give a fuck about your rights right now. Really? I'm not politically correct. So shove that up your ass. I could give a fuck less what you think. You understand? Okay. Yeah, I understand. I'm worried about that guy jumping off that goddamn... And that's why I was hiding behind the And pole. I don't need you here doing this shit. So you're going to jail. You're going to learn the hard way. I've told you about four times. I'm not going to learn the hard way. You are. No, I'm, I'm not. Hell yeah. Huh. Fuck you. You guys take him down a lodging for me? Pull this down. Yeah. 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 It's fucking my eyes. What do you want for uh, charges? Thank Interfering and resisting obstruction. Okay. Ooh, he's a here. Boy. Trespass as well, or? Um, no, trespass. Give that to the jail. Okay. Well, they're not going to take 